Thanks for clicking. Welcome back to another one hour daily speed painting. Be a part of the community by clicking that subscribe button. Click the bell to be notified when the video is released. Like and comment to be part of the discussion. And by all means, share, share, share. So I have four hours thus far invested in this painting. I'll put a timer right here so that you can see at what point you're at in the creation of this painting, how, how long it took to get to that point so far. I definitely like to start off by welcoming everyone that's here, uh, whether you're more advanced than I am at painting, or if you're the same, or if you're just getting started, or if you're not even an artist at all. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and I would like to encourage you to start a conversation in the comment section below. There are plenty of things that we could be discussing. Uh, if you're a better artist than I am, you could give me advice. Um, if you just want to talk about, or you could ask a question, but if you want to learn something, or talk about Alex Jones, that, that should be pretty funny. All right, so if you've been paying attention to my channel, you know that I've been doing one hour speed paintings in the morning. A lot of them look pretty bad, but they're not, they're not that bad for one hour, in my opinion. But the idea is to build a routine, to practice, 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 get better. So I completed the one hour speed paintings in the morning. I was gonna do 20 of them and I did them. And I did it in 22 days. So there were, there were a couple days where I was thrown off my schedule in the morning. So now I'm spending an hour first thing in the morning doing touch ups. The first day I was doing a touch up was this painting. And I accidentally recorded it in slow motion or something. So I just deleted all that. So you're gonna see, um, you're gonna see a jump on the uh, time meter where it'll just go right to two and then to three. So I do some sort of painting for one hour in the morning. And now, in addition, I'm editing video after that hour so that I can post the video. Every single day, every day. Is it easy? Well, it's getting easier. It's, uh, it's kind of like a, a semi-tame horse. You know, you have a few good days and then you get thrown off once in a while but you just get back on. By the way, I don't really know anything about horses. I mean, I saw one use the bathroom in my yard. It was a lot. I digress often. So I wanna say that um, putting time limits or deadlines on everything, uh, those time periods become like a marker of progress, a, a way of measuring. It, it's, it's really helpful to know what your skill level is and uh, how much time you put into something, especially if you think that it may be something that you could, uh, that you could sell or, or do for money. So this painting took me four hours. So, you know, I have to figure out, if I was going to sell it, which I'm not intending to sell this, I would have to figure out um, how, much I would, how much would I want to sell it for. So I would, I would have to make an assessment of how valuable my time is. And then you have to figure out the materials that you use. And I just dump paint in here. and I barely use the paint every day. I throw so much away. I'm definitely getting better at minimizing waste over time. Now that I'm doing touch-ups, I put very little paint on the paper plate that I use. It's like choosing a little shopping cart at the store so you don't buy too many groceries. It's important to not put too much paint on a canvas when you're just touching it up you can really make the painting move backwards really quickly. I'm diluting my acrylics with water pretty significantly so that I can play it safe. You can still see the layer underneath it. If you're hearing wind and noises, and birds chirping and stuff, it's because I, I try to walk while I'm editing. I like to get out and about, so I'm sacrificing my sound quality a bit. Being a perfectionist is not as important as just getting product out. <laughs> My Alex Jones picture should actually serve as a reminder to that. I'm just trying to get better as I go. I'm hoping I'll get better at rambling. That would be cool. So I'm really starting to feel happy with it at this point. It's really starting to look like him, in my opinion. I'm thinking tomorrow, I'm probably gonna move on to another, uh, another one of my one hour painting touch-ups. Probably Joe Rogan. I've always wanted to do a podcast like Joe Rogan. So it'll be cool when I have his, uh, his picture up on my wall. Keep me motivated. I'm not giving up. I'm gonna keep uploading videos and try my best to get better and better. All right, so now I'm on my fourth touch-up session. 
and I've got these teeny tiny little brushes. I bought them to do teeny tiny little paintings on teeny tiny little canvases. But they might just be what I need for the fourth session to touch this painting up. I actually have a project on a tiny canvas. I decided to make a picture of a Mini Cooper. Why not? On a mini canvas, paint a mini. Well, not just a mini. It's mine, and I love it. So my Alex Jones is starting to look like the Alex Jones on my phone. I love Alex Jones' intensity. It's going to be really cool having this painting. Maybe that's why I need to do Joe Rogan's picture next. Put it next to this one to kind of calm it down a little bit. Actually, after seeing how this Alex Jones is coming out, I'm looking forward to just really working on the rest of rest of the paintings. And in case you haven't seen any of my other videos where I've been talking about this, I'm going to put all of these YouTube characters together and make a backdrop for the podcast I do with a friend of mine. It's looking like about four hours for each painting. And there's 20 of them. So that's... Let me pause the video and figure it out. 60 days. You figure... Well, actually, there's only 19 left. 57 days. So less than two months. Because they each need about three hours more work. I already did the one-hour session with each one. Yeah, so I'll have them all done before... Well, long before Christmas. One month before Christmas. That's assuming that I don't spend more than an hour on one in a day. I may actually try to speed up the process a little bit. So what do you think? Not bad for four hours. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to come back to it, and I may even add color to it. But I think, I think I'm good with letting this one rest and working on the others, the others for a while. The other ones. Yeah. Not bad, huh? I'm happy. So I guess that's a wrap for this one. Awesome. Hey, don't be cheap. Hit that subscribe button. Help me out, man. Ring that bell. Share this with every single person you know. Take some time. Take like 15 minutes. Do it. Send it to people that haven't heard from you in a while. Why not?